Pain equals progress. Now, it's really, really easy to just think that if something's causing you pain, either physical or mental, that it's a bad thing. And yes, it can be a bad thing, of course. But when it comes to really realizing that whenever you're going through a process of trying to become a better person, trying to achieve a different life for yourself, do things differently, you're always going to be out of your comfort zone for one. And you're always going to be faced with challenges that aren't what you're used to. So you are inevitably going to face a lot of pains along the way on your journey. So today's video is really to say that one, if you're experiencing pain, then you're doing the right thing. Everyone has those ingrained processes where you're either used to looking at failure as a bad thing. And I spoke about failure in the past where the only true failure is if you fail, choose not to learn anything and give up. As long as you're learning, that thing that you failed at helps you learn how to do things the right way the next time and you eventually get there. So if you didn't have those inevitable failures, you wouldn't have got there. So that's a pain in a way. But people can be used to looking at things like failure, a pain, and thinking that they're doing something bad. So if you look at pain as progress, it can completely switch up your mindset to really give you the belief and the trust that what you're doing is correct. Now the key is to look at pain and reflect on it. Don't beat yourself up, just reflect with an unbiased point of view. Now, I'll give you some examples of when I experienced a lot of pain through trying to grow a new life for myself and build that every single day. I ended up doing so many things which were outside of my comfort zone. One of them was I tried to get a new job in order to get more money to pay for things that I needed to do to build my business. And when I started that new job, I was a fish out of water. I didn't blag, and I don't know if everyone knows what that word means, but I didn't lie my way into getting the job. I did have experience. I used a lot of the experience that I had from learning from the ground up of how to build a business and applied that to the job role that I then wanted to go for. But when I hit the ground running with a lot of professionals and never having worked in a corporate environment before, there's a lot of things that I had no experience in doing and a lot of it became overwhelming now. This is where the switch can come in. I could have looked at that situation, that pain, and thought, no, this isn't something that I should be doing. And naturally, you know that I'm gonna say, well, really, it was a good thing. And there is a difference where you could be flogging a dead horse, as they say, and you could be doing something that really you don't need to keep doing. Now, you don't need to do anything, but the point is, that pain that I went through of going, ah, oh, you could have done that better. Ah, oh, you missed that thing. Ah, uh, you potentially let that person down. Ah, you could have lost a client. All of those pain points really made me refine, reflect on what I was doing that I could do better, then implement, optimize, and become better. Just every single day, and that can take months and months and months because you're outgrowing old habits, you're getting out of a comfort zone. But the intention is to become better, to be more effective, more efficient. Now, as I've admitted, I'm not an absolute Zen guru who can just look at everything as how it's meant to be, as much as I can understand that intellectually. It's about going to the next best thing and really looking at every single time you're faced with a pain, look at it as progress and reflect. That's a mindset trait. That's how you get out of a mindset of quitting. And really, if you think about it, the people who've ever succeeded in their life at something truly different for themselves, and for a lot of people, doing something outside of the status quo. Not just for them, it was their ability to overcome failures, pains and challenges by looking at them reflectively, learning and implementing the next time. That's all anyone can do. I think you'd be hard pressed to find someone who would say that that isn't a good strategy of progress. So apply that in everything that you do. That's what I did. And trust me, I've been in painful situations in that job example that I referred to for months with diff difficult people, difficult tasks that I didn't know what I was doing with, scared to ask for help, scared to look bad, scared to lose clients. And I existed in that space for months, taking work home, feeling stressed. And throughout that entire time, because I really didn't want to feel that anymore, I learned. I made it my new job to get better, to do better the next time. And pain doesn't last. As long as you're growing, it's not gonna last forever. It's like everything.
So I hope that's helped you today. And tell me about any ways that you use your mindset to truly overcome anything that's difficult in your life. Because I mean, if you can sound off in the comments, I know that there's going to be topics that you or other people have dealt with that are way more difficult than just trying to keep people happy at a day job. When it all comes back down to mindset, anything that you can offer in the comments below can really help other people that are reading them as well because everyone's got that niche thing that can apply to them and it can help them. I can't you know, talk about every single problem that everyone has, but understand that it's mindset. And take a look at your mindset and think, you know, have I got a mindset of someone who looks at pain or challenge and thinks I'm doing something wrong because you're not? Flip it. Start learning how to flip that mindset today and know that it's not failure, you're not doing something wrong, you're actually doing a lot of things right if you choose to learn from it and reflect on it. You'll always be the better person the next day compared to the person who doesn't do that. Start implementing it as soon as you can. I hope you learned something today. Let me know in the comments. We'll carry on the chat. Have a great day.